Sabi nga ni Lawrence kanina or kahapon na if I can be of a regular speaker, I'm I'm really um, ready and I'm excited to be with you, to journey with you, to always hear your uh, weekly updates. Natutuwa ako sa inyo. I'm rejoicing with you. I celebrate with you. Also, congratulations po. You are successful last uh, Monday. Nanalo po kayo. So, uh, the Lord is good. Diba? Um, as I was saying always, all these successes comes from God. And so, thank the Lord always. So, tonight, um, although ang saya, ang saya ng mga praises nyo, but uh, sorry for the theme tonight, the good side of grief. Uh Maybe some of you, uh, as I mean, uh, ano ba yan, Pastor? Uh, we are celebrating. We are in a cloud nine. And bakit ito yung <laughs> film mo? I'm just, ano kasi, I'm just uh, being sensitive also. Because lately, sobrang daming friends and family na nawalan ng loved ones. And so, my heart is also, syempre, I also uh, grieve with them. So, I know some of you also, has been uh, shaken by God, no? Na, alam ko yun, si, si Ruel, last time, two weeks ago, ata yun, he was shaken by that news that his parents, no? Nagkaroon ng sakit. And so, these are the things that happens. As we celebrate, uh, talagang meron yan. Celebration, but sometimes meron na namang mangyayari, but it's all God's uh, schedule. We cannot uh, override it. God really allows different seasons in life. Okay? So, rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Sabi naman ng Bible yan. And so, tonight, ang maganda, we will be able to understand, meron bang magandang kakalabasan o resulta ang grief sa ating buhay? And yun ang magandang tanong. Is there something good with grief? And so, let's talk about that. Because... I was blessed to hear how this spiritual gathering also was <clears throat> was started. I'm so blessed to hear that from Lawrence, that uh, on, in times of his grieving, he lost his grandparents in COVID as well. But in that tears, in that season of tears and grief, the good side of this is that this spiritual gathering was formed. Wow. Wow. And so, isinabuhay ni Lawrence ang, ang grace ni Lord, ang goodness ni Lord sa buhay niya that even in his tears, it became an opportunity of triumph for others. Tears became a triumph. Diba? So, ganon si Lord. He allows these things to happen. And alam niyo ba, even yung good days, at yung sinasabi natin, bad days, which is wala naman actually ganun. These are all from God's appointed times. Because under the sun, there will always be different kinds of season. Hindi puro yan summer. Sometimes merong fall, uh, winter, spring. Ganun talaga yun. There's different season in the under the sun or in our experiences as human being. And so today, I will be more specific. As we go through this season of grief, diba? maraming namamatayan. <clears throat> and when we talk about grief, grief is not just about losing a loved one. There are a lot of kinds of grief. It could be losing something that's so important for you. It could be losing an opportunity or losing the freedom because of this pandemic. But again, the good side is, there is online franchise blooming and thriving in the midst of this online uh, condition we are in. Everything is online. Order ka ng food, uh, order ka ng medicines, gawa ka ng negosyo, online. And so, booming ngayon ang online especially yung franchise na katulad ng mga negosyo. And so, sometimes now, when we look at it, pandemic is bad to most of us, but kung hindi nagka-pandemic, wala namang online franchising. Wala. 
And so the Lord is so good that even in the hardest times, the grace of God is thriving and blooming because God is good always. And so let's talk about grief. Grief is painful season of life. It's saddening. It's it's overwhelming when it comes to our emotion, no? When that strike our lives, when that grief strike our lives, there is tears, there are pains that we cannot bear. But today, I tell you, the gospel is there is something good with grief. Do you believe that? There is something good with grief. And it says in um, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 3, I will read it to you. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 3. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the face, the heart is made better. The heart is made better. In other versions, the heart is made better. The heart is made stronger. The heart is made wiser in times of grief. Do you know that? Pag merong pagluluksa, we are more stronger after it, after we go through it. There, we are more wiser and we are more uh, better because our hearts, when we, when we release our grief, when we go through it and don't deny it, there is healing. When we cry a tear, there is healing. When we share it to others who listens to us and is accountable to us, there is healing happening in our hearts. Kung walang grupo like this, to where will you share it? To where will you share your celebrations, your successes? And also, to where will you share your kabigatan ng loob, your struggles, and after that, my breakthrough? Katulad kay Ma'am uh, Donna kanina, no? If I'm right, struggle, makuha ang product sa custom. Alam ko po yan. I have friends who are um, having businesses na palaging napahirapan ng custom na yan. <laughs> but the, again, on the other side of it, praise God, nairahos. So, by faith, never ever deny your grief. Kung merong something in your heart that is heavy, never deny it. What happens when we deny our grief? What happens? Tawag ng psychology, we suppress it. And when we suppress it, we are not aware, we are we are being sick na in our health because of the bitterness in our hearts. But here comes Jesus Christ. Sabi niya, come to me and I will give you rest. We can never carry that bitterness in our hearts because our hearts, it's designed to carry the goodness of God, to carry the blessings, to carry the grace, and even to carry the, the divine presence of God. When our hearts, we allow it to carry bitterness, we allow it to carry some other things, tayo rin ang nalulugi. But again, there is healing in grief. Tandaan niyo yan, ha? sorry for, I have no PowerPoint right now. But number one, there's something good in grief. Number one, there is healing. Letter H yan, healing. And so, express your grief because sabi ng Bible, when the face is sad, the heart is more better. The heart is made bet better, sabi din sa Ecclesiastes. So express it health in a healthy way. Express it in a godly way. And stay connected with a community like this that can help you journey to healing. Never isolate yourself when you're having a burdened heart. Never, never do that. Always connect yourself to a community that can help you su succeed, can help you grow, can help you uh, recover in your burden or in your struggles. Always be connected with a community because <clears throat> God always makes his healing happen in the context of community. It's always through other people. Someone will tap you at the back. Someone will listen to you. Someone will share something and you will be blessed. Ganun po yun. It's always in a community. So there is healing in grief. 
never ever suppress it. Sometimes the more we suppress it, the more nag spill over. Pag sinabing spill over, nadadala mo sa bahay. Nagkakaroon ka na uncontrolled temper. Ang madbilis ka magalit. Okay? Uh, nagkakaroon ka ng minsan addictions. Hindi mo lang nalalaman, meron ka ng addictions. Hindi man sa drugs, it could be addiction sa isang bagay na nauubos na yung panahon mo doon. So, the more we suppress our grief or sadness, sabi mo, ah, malit na bagay, okay lang to, God is good. Never ever hide under the rug your emotions. Expose it to God. Kaya nga sabi ni God eh, cast all your burdens upon me for God cares for you. James, sinulat ni James yun. Cast all your cares upon me for God cares for you. Ay, sorry. Block yung video ko. Ano ba nangyari sa video ko? Uh, ano nangyari? Sorry ah. Ah, sorry po. Ah, nandito yung wife ko to help me out. Ah, ano nangyari? Sige pa. Sorry po. Nandun ako sa unahan eh. Sorry po ah. Excuse lang. <laughs> Ang dami kong ano ngayon. Ah, Ang dami kong... Sorry, thank you for my wife. My wife is with me. So, uh, okay, so sana ako. We should not suppress our grief because it cannot help. It can only get worse, okay? Um, sometimes puputok pa na lang, magbe-breakdown ka na lang. Maraming tao nag-breakdown na lang bigla because they thought when you bury your issue, it will be forgotten and it will be okay. Never. Issues will only be healed when you face it squarely and when you cast it actually to Jesus Christ. So whatever you have right now, there is healing in God. Number two, sinabi doon sa Ecclesiastes, uh, better to spend your time at funerals than at parties. Grabe naman to si, si Lord. Oh, Ava si Lord. Kill joy was Lord that it's better to, to attend daw mga lamay then parties uh, i will explain later tapos sabi niya after all everyone dies so the living should take this to heart sino ba nagsulat nito muna bago tayo magjudge okay wag niyo sisihin si lord ang nagsulat nito si solomon solomon king solomon is the the son of king david king solomon became wise he became Popular, he became so rich. Wala pa pong nakabreak ng record ni Solomon ha. Until today, Solomon is the richest person in the world. Wala pang nakabreak. Okay, so why did he said na mas okay ang mag-attend ng lamay kaysa sa party? Eh, puno naman siya ng party bilang king. Hindi maganda ang naging result sa kanya. He's so popular. That's why naligaw siya ng landas. Tapos nagkaroon siya ng 700 wives and 300 mistress. And so that was Solomon. And the Bible is just um, describing his uh, sinful life. The Bible never prescribes na magkaroon tayo ng 700 wives and 300 mistresses. Hindi po pini-prescribe ng Bible. Dini-describe lang. Tandaan yung word palagi. When you read the Bible verse, ask the question, is it prescribed by God or described lang? And so, 
Solomon, kahit naligaw siya ng landas, ginawa niya lahat ng gusto niya, na-realize niya, hindi pala makakabigay ng meaning sa life ang lahat ng pangyayari. Mas maganda pa pala na magbulay-bulay or mag-reflect sa mga bagay-bagay, katulad sa pag-reflect ng kamatayan. Kasi sabi niya, in reality, we all die. And so, we need, we the living should take this to heart. So, uh, grief reminds us of something. When we grieve because something, someone died, something is lost, we lost a job, we lost a business, we lost opportunities, we lost relationships. When there is grief because of those things, God remind, reminds us that nandyan siya. Ginagawa niya ito, pinaparanas niya yan because he has a purpose in mind. Alam niyo ba yon? God has no plans. He only has purpose. Kaya nung sinabi sa Jeremiah, uh, nung sinabi ni God doon, I have plans for you, plans to prosper you. Ang totoong original Hebrew word doon, hindi actually English word na plan. Ang word doon is purpose. Okay, I have purpose for you, purpose not to harm you, but to give you hope. Because the heavens have no plans. God sees everything. He doesn't have to make a plan like us. We make plans because we don't see everything. But God only has purpose. So yung Jeremiah na, I have plans for you to prosper you. Ang word doon is purpose. I have purpose for you and purposes that will give you hope and future. So uh, what does this mean? Ibig sabihin, when we go through grief, it's because God is honing us. H-O-N-E, hone. Pag sinabing hone, parang karpintero, pag merong kahoy na, na ano yon yung parang magaspang, ginagamitan ng katam. Tama? Katam? Para maging uh, surface niya, maging uh, makines. So the Lord also allows us to go through grief, not just to heal us, but number two, to hone us. Tandaan nyo, heal, hone, H-O-N-E. Hone us. Bakit kailangan i-hone us? Kasi minsan, when we go through, kunwari, nag, uh, we go through COVID, hindi man natin gusto mangyari yan. We go through sickness. Okay. God will not heal us with our physical bodies. God will heal our, our unpleasant characters. God will straighten up our crook ways. That's how God uh, does His work. He allows us to go through this pain because He wants to correct something in us. Okay? So there is healing and there is honing when we go through grief. And lastly, when we are grieving, God is there. His help is available every day. Basahin natin ang Psalm 68.19. Sinasabi, Praise be to the Lord. To God our Savior who daily bears our burdens. Every day pala. Remind yourself, God carries your burden every day. Every day yan. He will carry your burden every day. So sinabi niya, praise be to the Lord, to the God our, to God our Savior. Okay, so is God, is Jesus Christ your Lord and your Savior? Because if Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, He will carry your burdens every day. You don't have to carry it. He will be the one to carry it for you. No wonder when He said, cast all your cares upon me, I will give you and I will carry it for you because I care for you. Okay, so there is healing, there is honing, and there is help available from God. That's the good side of grief. So when you are grieving, never ever deny it. Never ever say, wala lang to, all is well. Parang nagkakaroon ka ng mantra, all is well. All is well is from Hindu. Okay? Never deny it because God is willing to carry your burdens. If you deny it, it means you are not willing to give it to God. That's why don't deny it. Give it to God. Lord, I have a burden. This is for you. 
Lord, carry it on my behalf. And he will be willing to carry it for you. That's the good news for you. All right? So remember, God is there to heal us. Even if there is grief, he will heal us. He will hone us or he will strengthen us. And he will be there to help us. By what? Carrying our burdens. And lastly, Matthew chapter 5, verse 4. God blesses those who mourn. Tandaan niyo. God blesses those who grieve for they will be comforted. This is part of the Beatitudes. Sino law ang i-comfort ni Lord? Yung nag-mourn. Yung nag-grieve. So never ever expect God's comfort through the Holy Spirit kung hindi ka naman nag-grieve. Or kung hindi mo naman inaamin kasi dinideny mo lang. God will comfort those who mourn. So there's no there's no good when we deny our grief. Let God comfort us. Let God embrace us. Let God give us peace of mind. Let God comfort us. Let God refresh us with his presence. Because that's the good side of grief. So again, there's always a good side in our messed up life sometimes, in our tears, in our failures. There is always the grace of God. And in that, in that uh, tension and chaos, the grace of God will always abound. Sabi ni Paul, Apostle Paul, when I am weak, then I am strong. Kailan ka daw magiging strong? When you are in your weakest point, God's grace is sufficient for you. Kaya don't be bothered when you have pain. Don't deny it when you are grieving. Be real to God. Never pretend before God because He knows that something must be done in our lives. Something must be fixed in our hearts. So be with God. That's the beauty of grief. Because God also is with you and he will never leave you. So that's all for tonight. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much.
Sige, thank you so much for this uh, time. I'm really uh, refreshed as well as I am always joining with you. And every time I'm invited, I ha I'm having a refreshing time because God is really speaking through me. So bago po kayong makamaan, ako po yung unang binato ka ni Lord. And so ganun palagi. <laughs> when, uh, when people are saying sometimes, after my sermon, Pastor, parang hard teaching yun na. Uh, huwag ka mag uh, before na ikaw na pierce sa heart. Ako yung nakuna doon. Uh, so again, every time I speak, I'm refreshed. And so thank God for this. Let's all pray. Let me just bless you. <coughs> Lord, <coughs> thank you so much, Lord. Thank you for even in our grief, there is refreshment for our souls. Because your peace will be our portion. Your peace will embrace us. Your presence will always be with us. You will never leave us. You will always uh, guide us, speak wisdom to us. And sometimes you will speak wisdom through us to other people. And so we acknowledge every wisdom comes from you because you are the truth. You are the way. And you, Jesus Christ, you are the life. So, Lord, I pray that this abundant life be a punishment. Also, the salvation, the grace and mercy of Jesus Christ be upon each one, be upon each family, be upon their businesses. That as they prosper in this business and businesses they have, even as they uh, experience the successes that you have prepared for them, Lord, let them speak of your goodness and make you more famous in their triumphs, in their victories, and in their successes, O oh God. Let your name be always be upon their lips and be seen in their lives. Lord, bless everyone. Bless each one and their families. Unite them. Heal them if there are something na kailangan heal physically, relationally, emotionally, mentally, psychologically, in every aspect, spiritually, oh God, Lord, heal them and make them a channel of your healing. Now, I declare and pronounce the blessing of the Lord to be upon each one in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. So much, Pastor. Welcome, Pastor. Welcome. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you so much, Pastor. God bless Welcome you always. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you, Thank you partners. You. God bless everyone. God bless. Oh, 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 oh,